we all know too well that the warm weather in Killaland does not last for long, so when the sun is shining, you want to spend as much time outside as possible, which is why we started to wonder, why not take your next family meal outdoors? Only before you pack up your basket, there's a couple of things you want to prepare to make sure your picnic is a success. The speech mom, Andrea Bowrider, is here with some Bo Richter, sorry you about that, yep. about parties to keep in mind before taking your next meal outdoors. Absolutely. So what I brought today is my picnic tips are going to be focused more on the toddlers, preschoolers, early elementary kiddos. So one thing. So this picnic is for young children. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We're looking at more, um, more of the younger ages. And a lot of moms will say picnics are a nightmare because you're trying to pack. I was just thinking that when you described uh, the age group of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is going to be fun. Okay, but you're going to make it fun. We're going to make it fun okay, because, I... first of all, we're going to lower those expectations. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, if you are on Pinterest, you see these, like, gorgeous grape caterpillars and butterfly sandwiches. If you want to be fancy, go ahead and use a cookie cutter. Yeah. Um, make a sandwich, use a cookie cutter. Otherwise, a great way to make it a really fun picnic that the kids think is so super amazing okay. is use a muffin tin. Okay. Um, and then in the muffin tin, you just put goop that the kids might eat. I, I would, I, you I, call I, it goop. I'm going to call it some well, semi healthy snacks. Well, it is semi. We have some assorted fruit stuff and we have pepperoni. We've, so yeah. we've got a protein in there. We have, you know, some cherry. cherries, okay. apples, right. some peanuts, some crackers. Fill it up with things your kids are going to enjoy. Doesn't and need doesn't need a napkin, I don't think, right? No. Doesn't need silverware. Skip the silverware. Nice. No silverware is okay. needed. Um, silverware is a great way to and have gonna, them on right, the floor right. and, and dropping. And they're going to throw them away and poke each other with them. I remember this stuff. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, just okay. avoid silverware altogether. Put some put some snacky food. This isn't a normal meal. A normal meal at your table, you, they're going to have a sandwich or a you know a casserole. A chafing dish. Yeah, this, all of stemware, all of that stuff. Yeah, I'm aware. Absolutely. Yeah, but this real is fancy more dinners we have with preschoolers. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a little bit more casual. You are at a park. Our expectation shouldn't be that they're going to sit quietly, eat with their silverware, finish their meal, and What leave. we're trying to do is create an event that they will enjoy and not freak you out. Yeah. So you will actually look forward. Both people will enjoy it. Yes. So you pack this stuff, you go out to a park where there's a playground, and then they can come and go and eat as they want. Right? Yes. That's a good idea. And another thing I suggest is to take a blanket or a picnic table cloth. And um, you don't necessarily need to put this picnic tablecloth on the picnic table. On the picnic, picnic table. Picnic tables are kind of a nightmare for kids under the age of five. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They are falling off the back. I've seen it. They're I've crawling seen it. under. Yes, I've seen put that Put this too. on the ground. Right. Find a grassy spot. Eat your picnic on the ground. Okay. This is going to be so much less stressful for everybody involved. So, how long? Never expect a child to eat at the table in your home for longer than 20 minutes. Never expect a child to eat at a picnic for longer than 10. So keep it simple. Yeah. You, they've got a park right there that they're staring at. There's grassy area that they can run around. They're going to come. They're going to eat five to 10 minutes. They're going to go. I have a quick question because yeah. your dress, by the way, is awesome. <laughs> Thank you You're, very much. You have a bomb pop dress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good one. I have a love-hate relationship with any of the popsicle families, right? Because yeah, it's so they, messy. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. thank you. No matter how, in the tubes and the what. Do, yeah. Uh, uh, do, do we have to give no. kids popsicles? Well, I mean, go ahead and give them on the driveway, but maybe don't take them on a picnic. Right. Keep the food less messy. Okay. And when you do bring food that you're going to have trash, you're going to have a mess with, Everybody has a million of these in their home. Right. There should be one in every picnic basket. So we finish. We aren't. Here. Hey, where is the basket, by the way? What do you, what do you use? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. Okay. Um, we, we actually just use a soft sided cooler. We don't need a fancy picnic basket okay. right. that the kids are going to break little woven twigs right. off of. Right, right. A sauce sided cooler will get the job done. And beverages, what are you using for that? I suggest for beverages, if if you want to do a water bottle, that's great. If you don't want to deal with sippy cups, especially for those younger ones, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I a picnic is a treat, and let them have a treat. Let them have a juice box that you can throw away at the end, okay. so you don't have that stuff leaking all over. Um, so a few other things I recommend. If you don't want to have um, stuff that is going to make more trash, these are plastic plates. 
Um, yeah. Again, take a take one of these bags along, slip it in at the end, so yeah. you don't have these dirty dishes. Well, and it doesn't around. look like there's going to be a lot of mess anyway, yeah. right? Nope, you're just going to slip it all in here. Okay. Um, take some wet wipes. You don't need right. napkins. I don't care if you are taking fourth and fifth graders on a picnic. You need those. I, I need wet wipes. Yeah, we, yeah, we yes. have them in every car. <laughs> don't underestimate um, my my etiquette here. <laughs> so, are there places in town that? You can't go to with food. I never. It's been a while since I've. No, all there, parks are available. All parks, even okay. the zoo. We do picnics at the zoo. You're welcome to bring your own food there. So we do that a lot. So um, we just started in August. We got a few more weeks before we get back into school. Yeah. Go Probably get those picnics. That, right? Yeah, go get those picnics done. Get them off your summer bucket list. Okay. All right. So you can learn more about the speech mom. It's t you are the speech mom. I am the speech mom. Yeah. It's but you're the picnic mom today. <laughs> today I'm the picnic mom. Do you mom. have a picnicmom.com? I should. I'll look you in. Probably I'll make should. sure. I'll make sure that uh, all right, all right, that's that an open good. website for hey, me. So, so super happy to have you along. Thanks for all the tips, and I'm gonna maybe incorporate this into. Uh, you know, I like the idea of the snack food. You know, you talked about kids, but you know, let's be honest. I have grandchildren. I see where this could work for me as well. Yeah. Well, okay. and. Doing it with a whole family with a large muffin tin. Yeah. Bring the whole family nice. out there. Fill it up with some yummy. And I might actually enjoy it, which is mm -hmm. harder to you think. Yeah. Okay.